Hey, what's up you guys? It's Megan. Today we are going to talk about my setup and how I make videos. I get a lot of Instagram messages and comments asking about like what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. And honestly, it happens so often that I'm kind of, I'm sorry, tired about telling everybody. It took me months to figure this out by myself. So I'm just going to put it in a video and then hopefully it'll answer everybody's questions. So if I linked you to this video, it's because you've asked about how I record. <laughs> okay, so first thing I have, what you're gonna need if you wanna record gameplay, you don't specifically need this. If you can find cheaper ones, that's fine. But what I use, my Elgato HD60 capture card, I think it works really well. I have a Xbox One, a PS4, and a Wii U, all next-gen consoles. If you have an older console, you're going to need the other Elgato because if you record with this one, it is going to lag. And for my face cams, I don't use the webcam for my computer with my Elgato because it will not record over it. You can record your gameplay and stream with it, but once you play it back, you won't have any face footage. So what I do, and I'm recording with this now, is I record with my Canon Vixia HFR50. Uh, I got this at Best Buy for I think $300 or $200, I don't remember. Um, there is a cheaper version of this camera which I recommend getting. The only difference is, is the one that I have has Wi-Fi which I don't use and it also has internal storage built in which you don't need. You can just buy a card. So um, this is what I use. It's an actual camcorder. The reason I bought a camcorder instead of a camera is if you play do Let's Plays, you're going to be recording like two hours of footage at a time and I wanted to make sure that I had that space. I used to record with a Canon camera but it would heat up and shut off within 10 minutes of me using it to protect itself from overheating and then I couldn't get anything else recorded. So this camcorder works great. I think that the audio quality is great. Right now I'm not using a mic but whenever I get one I will be plugging in my mic to the camera to record the audio. The reason I don't record my audio through the Elgato hooked up to my Xbox through my Astros is because um, that kind of sounds unnatural to me whenever I have a recording voice of myself over some opposite footage that's on my camera. It kind of tends to look really artificial and I don't really like that. Also if you don't know which um, Elgato capture card you're going to need, you can go on their website and it lets you know what consoles are compatible with what cards. Whenever you use your Elgato, you're going to need to be near your console and your laptop. Or I guess if you have a desktop, that's fine, but you can't have your computer in a different room than your consoles because these cords are very long. They kind of look long holding them up like this, but they will not stretch across a room. You're gonna need to have your laptop near your consoles. I got my PS4 here, my Xbox One here, TV here, which I occasionally push to the side to get some window light in for my face. And then I have my Wii U here on a secluded island away from my other consoles. So there are kind of like two wires that come with the Elgato. There's no instructions, but you're going to hook the USB into your computer. Then you are going to take the HDMI cord that comes with it and plug it in to your HDMI for your Xbox. And then you're gonna take out the one for your Xbox or PS4 or whatever, and then plug it into the other end here. So that's really easy. You're gonna need to download the software for it first though. Okay, and so like I said for my face cam, I record on this and then I go in in Vegas or Adobe and I position my own self over my video footage and put myself up in the top corner. Getting the timing right on this is tricky. It's kind of like a sprint. You have to like hold both and press record at the same time to get them as close as possible and sometimes that doesn't even happen so you're gonna want to adjust, watch middle parts of your videos to make sure everything lines up. For my thumbnails, what I do is I usually just like, okay, it's gonna look really lame at the end of my videos, I just do this. Or something, and then I screenshot that and I put it into Adobe and I put text over it. What you can do with that, or you can put it into Microsoft Paint, because you can literally download free fonts from fontsquirrel.com or dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T, dot com. You can find a bunch of free fonts and just throw those over your videos and it works just fine. Um, if you wanna know actually how to put custom thumbnails, it's really easy to look up on YouTube. I will also put that below. For your intro, as you can see, I played my intro before this, so you probably already saw it, but for my intro, you just go Google logo reveal, and you can find a bunch of awesome things. You can either have an artist make you one, or if you have Afterlight and Adobe product, you can put it in that, change the colors, and kind of 
use that as a template, which is what I did. You want to make sure that you have your TV muted, and if you need to hear the game, you want to use your headset and plug in your Xbox just to make sure that you're only hearing it. Or else you could get this really off double audio sound, which is really not fun to watch, so you really have to be careful for that. And whenever you want to stream through your Elgato, it's really easy. Um, there's a button and it literally just says stream. So you're gonna click that and then you'll start streaming. You can add a webcam, either a separate webcam like I have. I got this webcam a few years ago for Christmas. It's just a basic Logitech webcam. It's really cheap. This is my Wacom tablet, sorry. Um, the way it goes on it is it just kind of, you can adjust it to fit on it. And that's how I attach it to my um, computer. Or you can use the webcam built into your laptop, which pretty much every single computer comes with now. Like I said, it took me months to figure this stuff out through trial and error and uploading awful quality videos, so I really hope that this helps eliminate any flaws. I will be putting a bunch of tutorial links down below so that you guys can see how to do everything. For example, how to put a face cam in with Adobe over your gameplay, how to cut up videos, how to add stuff over, but really it's so simple. A lot of people just don't take the time to think about it, but it's just layering. You just layer this video on top of your gameplay, and then you can add some sound if you want. A lot of success comes from being comfortable in front of the camera, which I'm not even that comfortable yet. And for me, it's paid off in the long run to talk to people who want to talk to me. If you're gonna be stuck up and not talk to anybody who wants to talk to you, people are gonna see that and they aren't gonna wanna be your friend. So you just, you gotta keep in mind that people are people. They aren't just, oh, I hate this word, fans. People aren't fans, they're people. They're watching you because they are interested in you and if you don't, if you aren't interested in what they care about, then why should they bother wasting their time on you? That's just my own advice. The programs that I use to edit right now are Sony Vegas 12. I use, um, I'm trying to switch over to Adobe Premiere Pro because that's what I need to be using, not an outdated version of Sony. I just haven't gotten to that point to where I'm comfortable switching over. I don't want the quality of my videos to suffer while I'm trying to learn a new program. I use Illustrator for my Twitch overlays. You can also use Photoshop, but I have access to these Adobe products because I'm a student. I have an EDU email, so I get every single Adobe product for $20 a month. If you're a student, you should go try that. Or you could go to the Adobe website where they have many packages of many things, so you could literally just get Photoshop and Premiere and pay like a flat rate per month. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, I'm sorry that I don't have any cheap, quick, fixes for you guys. This is like what I said I do. This is not what PewDiePie does. This is not what MLG does. This isn't anything professional. People just ask me what I do. So I'm letting you guys know. If you like this video or you found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions that I didn't answer, you can leave them below. If I know them, I'll answer them. My Instagram and Twitter and Twitch and everything will be down below. So if you guys want to see more, just subscribe and I will talk to you guys later.